All right, so here we are, New Year's Eve. What better time to do a waffle off than New Year's Eve? So I'm here with my sister, Angela. And tonight we're going to be doing a waffle off. Now, each of us have made our own special recipe for waffle batter, and we each have a waffle maker, and they just both happen to be single flip waffle makers also. Now, these single flip waffle makers aren't just any single flip waffle makers. They give you one inch deep pockets for your syrup and butter to just pool up inside of. So let's take a quick look at each of the waffle makers and then we'll go in and do a challenge with each other. Okay, so here we have my sister's station with the Bella single flip waffle maker. And what I'm noticing here is she has a little temperature control knob on top that lets you select light and dark. We have a power button and a ready button. And we just open it up here and we can all oh, look at that. Those one inch deep pockets. Can't wait to get some of that ooey gooey butter and syrup in my mouth. We close the waffle maker. Looks like the handle kind of flips in so you can store it. And you flip it over this way. And I'm assuming you just wait for that to say ready and then it's done. So she's making her mix over here. And we're gonna hop over and check out my setup. And now we're over here at my station with the ever famous Farberware name brand single flip waffle maker. And as you probably noticed, it's very similar to the Bella. We have a power and a ready here. We have the same type of handle where you flip it in for storage. You simply flip it over to do the single flip action. And I also have my batter here. Now my batter, I bet you is going to be better than my sister's is because this batter- Better batter? Better batter, yes. This batter requires it to sit for 30 minutes so all the glutens can do all their glutinous things that they need to do to make those nice chewy but airy crispy waffles. However, my recipe calls for separated and whipped up egg whites. So I bet my waffles will be way better. Ding, 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 waffles are ready. Here we go. Look at this, oh. Wait. Oh, wait a second. These are pizzas. I don't anybody else, but I am really getting excited because it's almost time to throw that batter in those waffle makers and taste that waffle goodness coming out. Coffee! Alright, so we're here with the Bella Single Flip Waffle Maker, my sister Angela's machine of choice. And she's going to go ahead and pour that yummy looking batter into the maker. Listen to that sizzle. We're gonna go ahead and close that lid and give it the famous flip. Now we just wait. Alright, so we're here with the Farberware single flip waffle maker. We've got some delicious looking crispy waffle batter here. We're gonna pour it right into the griddle. Listen to that sizzle. Oh, this is gonna be good. Don't wanna overfill it. I'm gonna go ahead and close that now. I'm gonna give it the flip. Now we just wait for the ready light to come on and I can't wait to bite into these delicious waffles. Okay, now, this is my waffle maker right here. I think I might have gone overboard with the mix here. Uh, but what I like is there's a little bit of a drip tray here, but you'll notice it's not quite big enough. So I think they could, from a design point of view, make that drip tray a little bigger. Right, we got the green light on the Bella single flip waffle maker. Let's check this out. Oh, look at that. That's looking good. with the Farberware, we got the green ready light on. Still see some steam coming out. I know typically with waffle makers, if there's no steam, then it's definitely done. But I'm gonna go ahead and trust the light and I'm gonna give it the flip back over. It says ready on this side too. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this baby up. Ooh, look at that. Now, it does say not to use metal utensils to remove the waffle, but that is gonna be a winner for sure. All right, here we are with our official taste testers, Carolyn and Hannah. And what we've done to be fair is we have labeled our waffles one and two. 
and only we know whose is which. So we're going to let our judges now do the official taste test and decide which waffle wins the waffle off. Yeah. It has a nice outside crunch. But the, it's really fluffy inside. I was just gonna say that, and the inside's light and fluffy. This one has less crunch, but it's still light and fluffy on the inside. I'm not quite sure. I think I need to taste test the first one again. Me too. Let's see. I have my choice. Do you have your choice? Do you guys need to do some secret deliberation or are you just... Okay. So we've made our decision and Hannah and I both like waffle one better. Hey! hey waffle <laughs> one! That moves belong to the Barbara Ware Brian Reality. Recipe. Yes. <clears throat> Someone out there.